Hello, friends, and you are our friends. Welcome to On Top of the World with Joshua Hadley. And as always, I'm joined by the man of the hour, the man with the power to suit this hour, the woman's pet, the men's regret. Like, darling, 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 you still know what's coming yet. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Uh, it's been pretty awful, honestly. Um, and I want to apologize first thing to everyone um, that have had a very serious issue uh you, you know um i just want to thank you for the 420 stream first first thing uh we talked about last week uh i very much enjoyed it and it was it was very needed for me like this is a very hard time um and uh, i just noticed audacity had uh, we had to update it and um, we finished it, and I, just, I looked at it, and I had to put the volume back down. Sorry, everyone. Anyway, um, it's been a very hard time for me. If uh, anyone remembers, uh, and was listening back then, my brother died 420 last year. Um, he didn't even, like, he was 49 years old, very young. And it's very crazy, but... um. It was Friday last week, uh, a year and a day after my brother died. His ex-wife died too. It's the uh, the timings, cra- uh, wild, um, uh, you know, and I, and because that happened, I was very verklempt, and I didn't do, I, I didn't feel like uh, doing anything for the Katsubi Chess Club, so. I took a break for a week on that, although it's the same prize, no winner obviously because I didn't do anything on that. Um, the prize is the same as last week. It's the uh, it's the chess. Uh, it's a book on chess. Uh, chess end games for children. They so they can learn how to uh, win the game of chess. Once you know, once you get an end game is when you have a couple pieces on the board. Like, um, you know, when the queens are off, that's an end game. Um, if, if you have a kid who's serious about chess, they ought to check this out. Or, um, you know, even for beginners, uh, I think it would be very I feel, good. I feel like he's hinting something uh, to me here. <laughs> well, if you want to, if, you, if you're serious about your chess career, go for, you know, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like uh, I gained one of those uh, tactical t- for our, a lot of our sixty-four games. We got those uh, books or those walkthroughs that were huge. I don't even know if they make those anymore. Like, is there something for El- like Elden Ring where you can get a book and read how to w- beat the game? I, 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 I mean, I imagine all that's online. Yeah, anymore yeah, now. It's right? got like online guides, GameFAQs.com and such. The one thing I miss from the old guides is like you know the cool pictures you'd have, but you know we got Google anyways, so I guess I guess it's more of a nostalgia thing for me. Um. Anyway, yeah. To all right. So by the time this podcast is up, it's the puzzle will be on Facebook. Um. So far, only one person, and it's because I. Did sort of push them figuring out before the prize run on Facebook, but it's definitely going up on there. Otherwise, no one's uh, sent me an email about it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep wasting time, like uh, in um sources printing flyers. I'm actually out of uh, I ran out of printer ink this last weekend, um, and I did buy new ones, but I. I didn't rat like I ran it out um, doing something else, and I don't know. I haven't got any emails. Uh, no one's really commented. And, and the flyer, yeah, the flyers don't like. They're nice, but and I think it's a nice thing to do. But it's it is an antiquated way of trying to get information out there. Um, yeah, like I don't know. Uh, I think. Maybe I'll pull them up in a few places, but maybe try to print 15 of them and get them all over town uh, over the day while I'm trying to deliver UPS. I'm, 
I don't know. I, I might, uh, you know, stop that. Might, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep doing that, but I, I might be a waste of time, ultimately. Um. Anyway, uh, really quick on chess. The today is the final day of the World Chess Championship. Uh, not when we're recording, but when when you guys are listening. And you're lucky. I've been what? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Gopher, but. I've been watching at least three videos on the World Chess Championship a day. <laughs> I, so I gotta catch up on my Gopher and Tuck uh, after it's over. Um, like I still gotta watch the Mario Kart episode uh, with Rob and stuff. I I just uh, I've been enamored with uh, what's been going on in Kazakhstan and uh. Yeah, there was a uh, Nepo. He made a big blunder, and he he reacted very strongly to that. Um, but you know, fuck if I if I screwed up and half a million dollars was was on the line, I might have like shit my pants if I you know messed up a chess <laughs> a chess game with those <laughs> with those under those kind of circumstances, <laughs> you know. It, you know, it's, I would have shit your pants if that happened. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, yeah, we don't know the results. I wish we could uh, say, oh, he, here's the new world champion. Unfortunately, because of how you know recorded dates, um, uh, you know, we're gonna have to talk about it next week. But uh, hey, at least you guys know who won. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that was our sponsor segment by the Katsumi Chess Club this week. Uh, we're active on Facebook. Find us uh, if you need. If you, um, it's the only Katsumi Chess Club on Facebook, so you know you don't have to worry about the address, but it's slash Katsumi Chess if uh, you're having that issue finding it. Um, all right, and yeah, if the week. And uh, it'll be the chess puzzler is the one of the pin, pin tweets. So it's not if you can get if you can get to the Facebook group, it's not hard to find. Anyway, big news: President Joe Biden announced that he's running for president again. How do you feel about that? I assume that would be the case. You know, I thought he might not run. I know most Democrats don't even want to want him to run. Um. I'll just say I don't like Joe Biden, you know, um, as a politician Well, when it comes to policy. But I know I ha- I really do have to think about this. Do you think he's been the best president we've had in our lifetime? Uh, in our lifetime? I'm, mm, I mean, I don't really remember too much of the eight or the 90s as far as cause, I mean, I, was well, child, I don't, so I don't I mean, either. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would say, like, I don't like him, I don't like him as a politician, but I think he's better than I expected, or he's been better than I expected, but also, like, it was a very low bar for him to clear. Yeah, I felt the same way. So, I, I definitely wouldn't want him in again, but, like, it, it, I, obviously he's better than fucking Trump and De- DeSantis. Yeah, and, that's the thing, it's just, the Republicans are so awful. They're awful, yeah. I mean... And, you know, I really feel like them doing the, making the issue, the political issues, oh, we don't like trans people, you know, like, and, oh, we're going to ban abortion, you know, because, you know, we believe in souls. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I can't, I voted for Lisa Murkowski, but, I, you know, outside her and some local people i'm having a hard time like even thinking about like ever voting any republican i mean it's so ridiculous like these people like before like maybe 10 years ago i thought the republicans as politicians like they were the more business minded people now i see like you know a lot of these people and it's definitely different a lot of them are just fascists Sorry to use the F word, but 
You know, that's how I feel. Well, it's like Donald Trump got elected and fucking... It seems like that let the their base uh, expose themselves more. And because they expose themselves more, now politicians are leaning more into that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the... Uh... You know, the partisan politics has been like, They're not going to be trying I mean, to I'm win just... over the fucking people on the left or anything. Like, they're just trying to go all in, get their fucking fascist, bigoted fan base. And, and it's driving off independence, you know. You know, I, I feel like this is a losing strategy. It's, unfortunately, there is, like, a big amount of people who vote that are gonna vote Trump no matter what. Um, if it was, if it was, the thing is like, what's wild is, it, you know, what's happening to Trump is helping them in the primary. But like, if it's Joe Biden and Donald Trump again, which now that Biden announced that he's running, I, I, I think uh, there's no way Trump can beat Joe Biden. You know, that's the one guy like. Uh, if Joe ran against Ron DeSantis, I feel like he'd lose, but no way Trump can beat Biden. It's, um, it, you know, I don't think Trump can beat a lot of people, but I, I, I said this back in 2016. I just think, um, you know, we got, we got to remember now it is very different. Uh, Hillary seemed like she was going to win and then the FBI stuff came out. Um. Yeah, Americans don't like controversy like that. Um, it's very. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel? He, him becoming a criminal has only helped him in the Republican primary. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's fucking ridiculous. But he he def I like I think there's very little chance he could actually win the whole thing, especially like now now that like we've had four years of Trump, so people know like what to expect. Out of that, they know he's not going to keep yeah, promises that, that he makes. That, they they know it, it. It just yeah. Where's the wall? Yeah, yeah. Where's the wall? I Mexico mean, didn't pay for that shit. Exactly. Yep. And then how he handled the fucking COVID situation. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's it's crazy yeah. to me that like he can get impeached and still run again. Um. Yeah, the Senate didn't remove him, so yeah, yeah. and it went against uh actually going through the process of making sure he couldn't run because they could have done that, but they just so they chose not to. Yeah, it, it, it's it, wild that that's even I'm a not, thing that could happen. Yeah, it's not official that we're back here again, Biden versus Trump, but you know. I think it's basically going to be that now. If if Biden so. wins the primary, which he probably will, like um all I could do is just hope that Trump wins the primary because again, like I I would be much more worried about Ron DeSantis facing Biden than I am about Trump. Yeah, yeah, s- same, same. Um All right, re- uh, let's see some other Items. Did you see the guy that leaked military secrets on, uh, well, government secrets on Discord? Uh, I saw you post something about that, but I didn't actually read into it. Yeah, so bro wanted to impress his friends on Discord for years. He's been putting on, releasing, like, classified documents. Um, I don't remember what it, what they say in... Anyone who's defending them, this dumb BS that he's pulling, he's not a whistleblower. He, like I just said, he posted stuff on Discord to impress his friends, and I saw the arrest. And yeah, <laughs> it's very. I think Voss made the joke. I was watching Voss's video. I'm just like, when they arrested him, it looked like he had five stars in Grand Theft Auto or something. They had a Humvee with a turret on top of it, or I don't know. Some type of like a heavy armored car came and picked him up, <laughs> and these these two soldiers were a pretty wild sight uh, for uh, something you did on Discord. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, that's it for politics. Unless you wanted to talk about anything. It's politics, so no. If you ever think, um, hey, maybe Justin has something to bring up here. No. Nah. No. Nah. Not in politics. Well, any other uh, any other big news items before we go into the updates? Uh, n- not that I can think of. I mean, I know we have something to talk about gaming wise, but that's afterwards. Yeah, yeah, we're we're keeping gaming separate in its section. Yeah. It's big gaming news too. Um, and, and politics do go into that anyway. So yeah, let's uh get into updates. All right, channel updates. All right, so. Uh, you mentioned, right, uh, sort of taking a break from the uh, chess stuff for a week due to, you know, personal issues and and stuff of that nature. Uh, I, I had a similar thing this week with with girlfriend talk. Um, been been a stressful week. Uh, I don't really want to go into the details of that, but uh, so been like a little break on the YouTube uploads. That'll they'll go back to continuing this upcoming Monday. Uh, and so this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All straight through will be the uh, Mario Party episodes with Rob. They'll be going up this whole week, um, as well as obviously uh, Honor Forever podcast. This, this one. Uh, as for Twitch, uh, we didn't get our Gopher and Juck finale, the, uh, the the Fall Jucks that is the Fall Jucks finale, because yeah, there was an incident. Yeah, uh, first it was going to be on Tuesday, but I ended up taking my mom to see a movie. Uh, as an early Mother's Day gift, because there was no horror movies we were going to be able to see next month, and she likes horror movies. Um, uh, so, so we ended up pushing it to Wednesday, and then Wednesday happened, and... Uh, 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 <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, yeah, like Mother's Day, it's April. Uh, well, <laughs> you know what? It's better to, like, see the movie when it's out than, like, waiting for whatever, like... Yeah, like, it probably like would have had... Day, to... it'd be lame. We probably would have had to wait until, like, June to actually see a horror movie if we waited. Um, then we got to Wednesday and, uh, Jeff's daughter, uh, Journey, Japoopy, as we call her, because, uh, apparently I own half of her now, and so I, I chose to change half of her name to Poop, um, but, uh, she d- d- injured her eye. I don't think it's anything serious or anything like that, but, like, she was crying a lot, and, yeah. Um. It must have been scary. Yeah, yeah. But she, but she's fine now, Might so. be. You ever seen, uh, the Chris- A Christmas Story? Uh, probably a long time ago. I, I remember vague parts of it. I did the thing, dude. I was uh, playing thing? around with my BB gun. Ah. I, well, I, uh-huh. not, not, I wish. No, it said <laughs> I did something really stupid. And not my, I think, my, yeah, my mom told me I shouldn't do this. And my dad said, ah, oh, it's fine. Um, oh, yeah, I was actually I'm sort of standing near. Back when I did this, too, I had a BB gun. And I was playing around with it in the house, shooting a target or something. And I, the baby hit the ball, and it didn't hit my eye, but it got pretty close. And after that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> never, yeah, never yeah. did something like that again. I was more, uh, you know, trying to keep aware of something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh, but uh, yeah, kids can do something pretty stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even you know, know. I don't even know if it was that. It might have been just an accident. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I think it was just an accident. I don't remember exactly what happened, but yeah, she 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 hurt her eye for uh, for for some th- thing, and uh, so we just decided we'll just can't because um the the reason Jeff's taking a break from the channel is because the Monster Hunter DLC is coming out, and that came out on yeah. Well, for it, if you don't play it with it. But. <laughs> Uh, technically that came out on Friday, but, like, I think he, he and, uh, his friends were trying to do, like, the, the trick where you, like, set your co- console to a different time zone so you can play the game early, so we were playing it on Thursday, yeah. uh, so we figured we would just cancel the stream entirely, and we're now aiming for Tuesday, May 5th, May 16th, uh, to get back to Gopher and Juck, starting the Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, play through our final of the Dark Souls trilogy that we have to do, which is the first one actually, but you know, did them backwards. Well, actually, we did Dark Souls two first and then three, I think. But yeah, it'll it'll be Dark Souls remastered this time, probably Bloodborne as our next series. 
Uh, so that'll be happening. Uh, Juck and I will be streaming today, Saturday, as of this podcast coming out. I don't know what we're going to stream yet, but we'll be streaming something of some sort. Um, You're not going to play chess? <laughs> probably not, no. I, I think it, that's, that's, that's probably not type of situation there. Uh, South Park's Look at Truth coming up on the YouTubes. Uh, the That fucking game that I got a copy of via d- d- pledging to the, the Kickstarter for its sequel will be starting soon. The fuck is that called? Let me, let me see what that's called again. Um, Sword of the Necromancer. Uh, the GM battle continues every Sunday. That that still went up this week, despite me taking a break. That 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 still went up. Th- those because th- those are easier episodes to edit because they're they're more like the older format than the long kind of... long long plays. Yeah, yeah. They don't uh, have to be uh, chopped uh, down quite as much. Um, the only thing I really have to cut out of those is the uh, like having to restart SharePlay because SharePlay only lasts for an hour for some reason. Um, yeah. So doing all that stuff. The two podcasts continuing. This one on Saturdays, Honor Forever on Tuesdays. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the channel updates for me. Yeah, and uh, as for me, www.joshwithjhadley.com. Follow me on Twitter at Josh J. Hadley, though I haven't, um, I haven't been. Actually, I decided to take a break from social media during this. Like, I actually did it for myself just so that, you know, I, this this hap- all happened during four the uh, four twenty. So I, I was really high. And I was afraid. Like I don't want to go out oh, on Facebook oh, and say uh, something. Sorry, sorry like, to interrupt, but that did remind me. Um, I do. I don't know when because it's gonna take a while. But I do plan to edit the four twenty stream into like a little compilation video on YouTube. I was gonna say after this, uh, anyone who has it, well. Now that so you're gonna put it on YouTube? Yeah, that'll, that'll no, be on I mean, YouTube. In, the, in, the, in the form. So yeah. I was gonna say, I, I guess it's not as a. You might want to wait till the YouTube version, but yeah, it's still up. Uh, the VOD's still up on Twitch. I it's actually, up, yeah, the actually, VOD on Twitch is the whole. That's like, skip. Two hours or whatever, but yeah, the, it'll be a chopped down, edited version for uh, for YouTube. Yeah, make it entertaining. Yeah, I skip go. I skipped Gopher and Tuck YouTube to I want I was there live to watch the game and uh, <laughs> I, I I I got stoned again and I watched the VOD. Very <laughs> funny stuff. Um and I gotta say, you were way more stoned than I have been in a long time, but <laughs> you were playing Fall Guys better than I was. I was, I was the most like, stoned I've ever end. been. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He he forgot like well, he didn't forget how to speak. We we're that that was a joke we we're making, but he did go ooga booga mode. Yeah, I, I <laughs> like I I remember in my head thinking I'm definitely saying these full sentences the way they're supposed to be said, and then I watched the vod. <laughs> and, nope, not even close. And, and and the fucking thing with like Ian repeatedly saying my eyes aren't open, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I can see the game perfectly fine, and then I look at the vod, and yeah, I don't I don't know how I was seeing the game. My eyes were so fucking close <laughs> to just being fully shut. For like that last like <laughs> half hour, forty five minutes. Oh, uh, you were just really stoned. It's it's not like your. I mean, your face gets that way. <laughs> but my favorite is like one of our friends when they get uh all up it like that. Um, well, not even all up it, but for anyone who doesn't know, all up it's uh, getting blacked out. Uh, drunk or you know getting to a point you're not gonna remember what happens um like he'll walk in a zigzag and i'll say man are you drunk or something or stoned and you'd be like man how can you tell i go like, oh, <laughs> it's extremely hard <laughs> <You know? laughs> um yeah i look forward to that um i i, I yeah i really enjoyed the four funny stream and i tried to tell you on this podcast last week uh, you didn't you don't you didn't want to like <laughs> grab a grab a handful of these edibles and t- down them at the same time but hey it uh-huh. created the, some magical moments for us yeah. like us telling yeah, you yeah. the big show was outside your door <laughs> yeah exactly there you go. It, it worked out <laughs> i i don't 
I don't like looking back at it. I don't know if you believed um, that the big show is outside your door, door or that you're just saying really weird shit. So you could process think, it. The thing was, so I didn't believe he was out there, but I, I kept like being worried because I was thinking like, how are people gonna react if anyone sees me going outside as high as I am trying to take the trash out? Like that—that that was the thing that was like going through my head of like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. But fortunately, I did manage to get my trash out the following morning before it went. So, did take care of that. Yeah, and Big Show was not there. So, well, no, not not, not by then. He wouldn't have waited that whole time. Yeah, He's he, got things yeah. to do, man. He only exists at night. Oh well, yeah, that's when wrestling happens. I see. Yeah. Like, when's the last time you've been to an afternoon wrestling yeah. show? He's like a vampire. <laughs> Sort of chills in his coffin during the day, and then at night he comes out. <laughs> well, all right. Um, see, so there's uh, been really big news in the world of gaming. Are we, are we Did not you doing about the, this? Uh, uh, micro- oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, <laughs> the other stuff, sort of, but we get asked about it too. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Got the, got the right, bluff right, and gopher right, and so, the, the questions. Yeah, just play Buff and Gopher. Hey, right, play some Buff and Gopher here. I'll see if I live yet. I'm, I'm on a very good streak right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, here, guys, here's how it works. I got three wild headlines. Wacky and wild uh, headlines. I'm going to read them to Gopher one by one. And after that, he's going to decide. Like, one of these I created. It's not a yes. real headline. Not uh, a real wink, headline. Wink, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yes. Gopher's got to guess which one is the one I made up, and if he does, if he fails, he dies, and uh, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to start on our distance for a new gopher. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, first headline: Armed churchgoers slaughter endangered species in a show of support for former President Trump. All right. I wonder what the species President is. Trump follow See, this is a quote here. Uh kinda. Uh President Trump is following God's command that we are to eat whatever we want, says Pastor Paul Hullock of the Westboro Baptist Church. Hmm. Okay. That that seems like the kind of crazy shit know, a Trump I... supporter would do. Uh, yeah, maybe. But, mm-hmm. Uh second headline. Dwarf bullfighting banned in Spain. What exactly did you just say? The decision was applauded by disability rights groups, but condemned by the few surviving performers. Hold on. Okay, so say the say the headline again. Dwarf bullfighting banned in Spain. Oh, dwarf bullfighting. Okay. Third headline. Greece to let people bring pets into more than 120 archaeological sites. Hmm. About time. Um, mm-hmm. Some of the most popular archaeological sites, such as Archipolis. <laughs> I'm sorry. These names. Uh, I- Archipolis? Is that the name of the. Uh, that's how you pronounce that city? Maybe. Well, still, well, still remain pet free. As will ancient theaters, temples, graves, and monuments with uh, mosaic mosaic floors. I feel like a lot of the time when you like struggle how to say something within a headline or the or the bit after the headline, that's usually the one that you made up. So I'm gonna go with the third one. You are wrong. Is the oh. first one that's oh oh damn, up. fucking d- Trump. Well, this, oh man, well, all right. I R.I.P. me now. My my streak is over. Uh, well, thankfully, and life. You my Easter, streak and my so life. We're... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was just gonna say. Hope, thankfully, you missed uh, Easter, so we're not gonna crucify you. Mm, uh, that's good. That's good. Um, I would probably not return after I'll... three days. Though. I always thought, <laughs> damn. I always thought um a fun way to kill someone was. You ever seen the movie Moonraker with Roger Moore? I have not. They... They got that thing for testing how well space pilots can handle G force, and oh. what one of the villains like speed it up and like give them high G gives gives them high G's will uh 
uh, you, you, you know, like up to a point that it'll kill him. And thankfully, he has his little gadget to stop that, uh, as he does in every Bond movie, you know. Mm. I like to imagine. I mean, we know how it goes. That uh, every every time uh, I get this bluffing gopher wrong, uh, and and that gopher has to die, I imagine that all of the deaths happen in a very uh, like like saw kind of scenario. <laughs> the thing is, like, chance, there's no live. pet. Oh, oh, give him a chance. Like, uh, all right, if if they live, they we. Sh- I mean, we already did auditions. We're gonna get the new gopher anyway, but like, yeah. this, where, where 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 did they flee off to? Uh, back in back in their gopher holes. They haven't had a chance to decide yet because none of the gophers have survived. Maybe I'll true, be the first. True. Maybe, maybe. Mm. All right, uh, ready for some uh, questions? Yeah, let's answer some questions here. I think I well, might know what one of these say questions is. Di- didn't say where he was uh from again uh from Tucker Lucy. Okay. I think uh I think this is the same Tucker Lucy from Baltimore. I, I possibly very possible. I, I think this is the guy. All right. Hey Gopher, why did the strawberry? Why did the baby strawberry cry? Why did the baby strawberry cry? Let me think here. Can baby strawberry? It's crying because uh, grape. Because its parents were in a jam. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Tucker Lucy. Yes. (laughs) Wherever you may reside. From. Well, this guy. This next guy says where he's from. From TJ, from no. <laughs> from no. Uh, see, he uh, he says, uh, oh, he asks, who are going to win the NBA Finals? Okay, the the winner of the NBA Finals is going to be um, the, the, the Monstars, is that what they're called? The, the team from uh, Space Jam? Oh, you're not going for the Raptors this year? No, 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 it's going to be the Monstars. They got this. Hell yeah, dude. Mm. Let's see, I didn't see the new um... Space Jam. Neither did I. The... I was gonna say like the Bugs Bunny cartoon, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Space Jam. I haven't seen the new one. No, I... I've um, heard the. I heard it wasn't movie... as good as the one. I... Well, I didn't like the first one, but I heard I heard the second one was like just like a long advertisement. Damn. Yeah. So, like the emoji movie. <laughs> I haven't seen that one either. You know, I seen that. I seen well, that. There you go. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, TJ. Uh, the Monsars are winning. Monsars are winning. Is, put put all your money that, on it. Is it is it Monsars or did they say Monsters? I, don't, I always thought it was Monsters, but I'm not sure. But you, TJ, put all your money on it. Bet your house. They're getting this. They're they're taking it. Like borrow all your friends' money to yeah. bet on this. Yes. To sell like, Chris Foster and then put that money into this. Exactly. All right. From Jeff in Ohio, do you think the Activision Microsoft sale would actually create a monopoly, as some organizations or organizations fear? On the contrary, what are some positive outcomes of the sale going through that you think could uh that I could think of? Well, this is an ironically timed question here, given what we're going to be talking about. Yeah, next. Let, let, thanks for the question, Jeff. Um, you know, let's uh, get into that. That's the big video game news item we're talking about. So this whole this whole segment is us going to answer Jeff's question, kind of. Yeah, although uh, first, um, uh, in regards to the positives, uh, I, I, more stuff on Game Pass would have been the positive. But uh, as for yeah. whether I think it would have caused a monopoly... I mean, like, Sony and Nintendo are still huge. Like, I don't think it would have... I think well, they still would have been huge. I think there is reasons to fear, but, I, you know, think I thought about this, and Microsoft so far has kept its word on Minecraft being on... They own that, but it's available on every platform. Platform. <laughs> yeah. I just bought it on a PC 
yeah. a month ago, and I I usually play it on my Nintendo Switch, and it's still available everywhere. Um, you know the the fact is, uh, everyone's worried about Call of Duty, and if Microsoft said, "Oh, you know, the only place you could get Call of Duty if you know this sale happened, it, it would be up to them whether it was only on Xbox." People were afraid they'd do that. Um, you know, I. It would be a very questionable decision. I get it would help their console sales, but the fact is these games, the ones that sell the most, do get on most platforms. I mean, Call of Duty That's hasn't like, been on the Switch. But. The thing is, like, Xbox doesn't care, or Microsoft doesn't care about console sales. Like, they're all about Game Pass subscriptions and stuff of that nature. Like, they, they don't fuck they're oh, not trying I thought, to sell consoles. No, I thought they were all about, like, Microsoft the big... Office and uh... <laughs> I thought they were all about the base, but, you know, apparently not. <laughs> I thought they were all about Bill uh, Gates, like, uh, what what was this controversy? Oh, oh, yeah, he cheated on his wife or something, mm, something uh, right? Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go, Moose. Here they come. Here yes! comes the trash. Yes! Yeah, the right yes! Outside. Oh, there's the beep. There's the beeping. I was wondering if they would get it. Oh. See, we started late, and because we started late, the, the, the fucking trash made it. Rick! Yeah, we usually we end about now, but like, yeah. oh, the actually perfect timing. We're actually late. Um, I woke up <laughs> three in the morning, and I did like I told Gopher I'm gonna watch this anime. So I said, you know, what? now's a great time to watch anime. And I stayed up for two hours. It's like, <laughs> I woke. but uh, we we got the trash. Got um, the trash. so so with the so the news is we didn't even say it. Yeah. Um, the uh, the United Kingdom's Parliament, their version of Congress, blocked the uh, sale of Activision to Microsoft over fears of monopolization in the cloud gaming industry. Right now, Microsoft uh, controls like what they're saying, like up to fifty, sixty percent of the cloud gaming marketplace, and them owning Activision Blizzard would just increase their grip on that i the thing is like i don't i can't i couldn't tell anyone like case by case basis if a buyout or merger like this is good but i think i tend to think like the trend for these corporate buyouts have been bad like at&t buying turner uh all their stuff like you know what was it turner broadcasting or um that as a uh, hasn't been bad for Turner and AT and T lost a lot of money on that. They're a phone company. I mean, they do at least like with Microsoft. This thing it is um they do at least do video games, so it's not like it's a strange I, I new yeah, business like, for like them. I don't get what's like different about this, like them getting Activision versus like them getting Bethesda or or like the company's intent or Nintendo. Uh, Sony is, but like I don't really, I don't get the difference. Like, why is this one specifically what's causing the issue? Oh, it's they got the on the uh, biggest gaming uh, series that's happening right now, Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, Bethesda's uh, got a like, lot of huge shit. Uh, Skyrim's probably not, one of the biggest games. A, like, and when's the last time we got a new Elder Scrolls? They've been kind of shitty. Uh, that, you know, if they could, like... I was just going to say, like... Uh, oh, I didn't even know. That, that's big gaming news. We could talk that for a minute, but... Um, well, it was announced, like, a yeah, year or I two think... ago. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember the last yeah. one was, like, awful. Like, so I... You, know, you mean, I got, like, I online, or...? Because the, um, the last, like, main one heard... was Skyrim. No, there was a... I oh, was right, they did one. the fucking mobile one, right? I forgot about the mobile yeah, one. Yeah, the mobile one that ended up getting on the Switch somehow, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's the fear, is uh, the, the fear, uh, well, for most people, it's been Call of Duty, but for uh, the UK Paranormal, it's cloud gaming. Mm. Um... And I'll say Microsoft hasn't had the best uh, record when it's ca- come to uh, the game studios. Like, uh, 
I feel like people aren't happy with the direction Rare has went. Um, and I know micro, like I don't know much about video gaming. I just I play the game, but I've heard Microsoft is a lot more hands on with the development than like say a company like Nintendo, or just like, all right, you do you, bro. Just don't talk about the KKK. Well, people in like your fucking video game. People like mostly. <laughs> For the, it seems like mo- for the most part, like Call of Duty just gets shit on. Like it's still obviously super popular, like gets bought by a lot. But like it's one of those things where, despite being like very uh, financially successful, it's just it has the, the, the kind of complaints of like, oh, this is just the same thing every year. Nothing's changing. Nothing's <clears throat> standing out. They're just they're just making the same game every year, and it's, it sucks. I, I I can't really say whether they suck or not. I don't really. I, I play the campaigns occasionally. Oh. Uh- um, but I, I think, I don't I think like they're good games. Like this is, uh, I I enjoy playing Black Ops. It's just I felt like when I was buying them every year, there wasn't enough difference for me to like justify paying sixty, probably more money now dollars every yeah. every year for one of these new games. That just sort of seems the samey to mm. me. Yeah. It's like at least with something like Mass Effect or uh, FromSoft, you know, it's if you're buying something from a series, it's been a couple of years. I yeah. mean, paying sixty bucks like like for something that's out like every it's, few years, it, I mean, like seven seventy is, now for like next gen consoles too. Plus, they have like the fucking yeah, for, special versions where it's like a hundred dollars, a hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, for games that cut uh, where the release date is separated by a couple of years, like seventy dollars, like ain't no like big problem if like you want to buy every game and like that's coming out in a series. But for something that's out every year, and I, I bet like there's tons of microtransactions mm. in these games too now. Especially I bad with shit like fucking a long time with shit like Madden, where it's seventy dollars for. Like like that, the differences between the Madden games is even like far less than the difference between the Call of Duty games, and in some cases it's just worse. Like they, they a lot a lot of what they change, quote unquote change, is like they either make a lateral move where it's something's different but not really better, or they make something worse. It's very rare that they actually improve on something, and then it's still just hey seventy dollars. Come on, come on, pay up every year. Yep. Yep. All right, uh, so we also we're gonna start talking about anime every week on this uh, podcast now, and I uh, finally saw it. I saw the new episode of My Clueless First Friend. Yeah, it's um, one of the ones I've been watching this season. I like. I I feel like um in this so this series uh, this girl's uh, running around with her cat. And she has a male friend. Um, she's up in this episode. She went to her grandma's place. She lost her cat. Her friend. That was, that like, was the first episode the cat cause... appeared in, by the way. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, I thought was... it was the main character. <laughs> it, it, it's in the uh, the opening <laughs> dealio, but it's not. Uh, I, I, I believe that was the first time the cat actually shows up in the show. Wow, which I think what was episode three or four? I think it might have been the fourth episode. Four. Yeah, it was four. Yeah, and so the girl's like sad that she's going to her grandma's place. Not not because of that, but you know she can't hang out with her pal. She gets bored over there, you know, not being with her friend. And her friend was saying, "Well, you know, I'm gonna be away too." And he ends up being away at the same place because the cat. Goes so finds him and he takes it back to her, um, and uh, they go to her, her mom's grave, and uh, he gets very sad. Yeah, so, um, I like the episode, but it's it was kind of like not a great episode for you to be introduced to the series on, because uh, it doesn't really focus on the thing that's like the main conflict of the series or i don't know if conflict's the right word but well, basically I, I, the, I I, the idea I, mm-hmm. the idea i'm sorry right, you finished so i'll make a joke okay, is that uh. this girl she has like a strange look to her and then you know so people 
her her classmates consider her to be this like cursed creepy girl even though she's just a normal person um i thought i thought she like she looks like the girl from sergeant frog i think if i remember I correctly that is, but... i'm not thinking of the... yeah um but yeah like so like all the, all the classmates make fun of her and, and say that she's cursed and all this uh and then this her friend here this guy he's a, a new person to the school like he transfers to the school and he meets her and he thinks it's awesome like he thinks the whole idea that she's cursed and all this is actually really cool um and so he oh, becomes friends okay. with her, even though, like, she sort of warns him, like, basically, like, if, if you're going to be friends with me, people are going to pick on you. And he's like, oh, the, the fuck? This is cool. It's cool shit. Um, so, like, they started forming a friendship based on that. Uh, and the, the reason he got sad in this episode is because, like, he finds out her mom died. Uh, everyone in the school calls her Grim Reaper because of, like, how creepy they find her and all that. And he leaned into that because he thought it was cool. Like, he thought that her being called Grim Reaper was cool, which actually made her feel better because, like, she no longer saw the Grim Reaper nickname as, like, a bad thing. But once he realized her mom's dead, that's when he's like, oh, shit, I've been saying something horrible to you this whole time. Even though she didn't see it that way. Like, obviously, which she says there, and then they have a little moment, and it's nice. Yeah, it's just one of uh, a type of genre, I guess, of anime uh, that I really enjoy, where it's just like slice of life, life kind of like wholesome stuff. Uh, I, I, I I have a good time with stuff like that. I'll say, um, yeah, probably. I don't know if it was a good entry point for the for me, uh, but the way I feel is uh, for a TV show or for like anything. I think anyone should be able to be able to jump in and like be able to enjoy what's going on and they have to ex- like they can't like explain everything but they should at least you know it should be new person friendly i'd say um for some shows like i i certainly understand like uh you know like it's far better if you just uh start at the beginning like your favorite show monday night raw don't don't go to the usa network and Monday Watch It Live. Go, yeah, gotta get Peacock. You gotta start episode one. You know, otherwise you're not gonna understand anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. <laughs> uh, right now, it wouldn't be so bad, but I've been, um, I've been so busy. There's uh, there's other anime that I see that I want to check out. Like, uh, I just got, I just got back on Crunchyroll. Uh, today, um, there's a new Mobile Suit Gundam movie with that's a uh, set in the um, Universal Century, and I want to check that out. Uh, this anime uh, uh, might be okay. I wasn't too into this episode, although I'll I'll certainly keep continue watching it. What I really enjoyed was uh, Ryan Ray Elena ended up at the Duke's mansion. I thought that was a uh, pretty funny. I, uh, I watched episode three. That's uh, one this morning. Right after that, I watched one of that. So I'm watching 15 animes this season. I was watching almost 30 last season. So I'm like, okay, I need to limit myself because I, I need to have time for other shit. Um, yeah. so so there were a couple animes. I I think I started the season off with like 20 plus, but I'm like, okay, I need to lower this. I need I need to get it down to like 15. So I cut out the ones that I enjoyed the least. That was one of them for the for, after watching the first episode. Um, uh, I didn't dislike it. I, th- I thought it was interesting, and but like, I just I just wanted to limit myself to how many I'm uh, watching. So, uh, but I have I have fifteen now, N- a nice crisp fifteen. Te- technically fourteen, but one of them's gonna one of them was from last season, but they had to pause it because of um, COVID. So they're gonna be returning during this season. Yeah, Ray, the Ray Elena show doesn't have a weird looking cat. <laughs> it's just I like cats. Um, but you know, yeah, a lot, lot, a lot of anime. Fifteen for me. Split between Crunchyroll, High Dive. Uh, there's one on Hulu. And, and two of them I have to actually get by less than legal means because there's no fucking what he does streaming is, service that has them. What What he does is he waits till his neighbors like watching it on whatever streaming service he has. Like Gopher's got his uh, binoculars out, you know, uh, <laughs> but they're not like, on streaming he, services. Yeah, he doesn't. That's the issue. 
The thing is, like, no, he's watching it on DVD, and you're like, you're, you're, uh, you got your pair of binoculars, <laughs> you know. Already. Um, but the, the, problem, the problem is, like, you don't get any of the sounds, so you have to dub it yourself in your head. <laughs> I don't watch dubbed. <laughs> No, you have to make it dub. You know, you, I mean, you can't. I don't know. Do you have a listening device in their house so you can hear the anime too? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Got fucking, uh, the Blue Orchestra and the new Pokemon. I, I haven't. So I wanted to watch the entire Pokemon series in uh, subs, but there's like several seasons where there's just no English subs available for the uh, for the Japanese version. Um, but I decided since the new one is sort of like a like a soft reboot. Where they're like, it's new main characters, focusing on new shit. I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna jump in here. Uh, and obviously, they don't like. They're they're gonna. It's gonna be on streaming services at some point, but it's gonna be in the English dub. And yeah, so so I've been getting that via it, means it, of a source. It, it makes Same sense. Depend- it makes sense. Depend depending on who has the English version rights to it. Mm. Well, I think the reason that they don't like do the like they don't have like Crunchyroll or anything like that streaming the. Uh, Japanese version with English subs is just because like the English dub is just so popular here, so there's like they don't really see a point to having another one. But I mean, I would watch. Well, I mean, I am watching it, but just not via streaming because it's not available via streaming. Um, but although they also don't do like any like simulcast thing for Pokemon, as far as I know. Same with Blue Orchestra. Yeah, it might so. be too. Exp- might be too expensive for them mm. to license that. Potentially, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I think I have like six on Crunchyroll, six on High Dive. Those two that are uh, not on either or not on anything really. Uh, and I have the one on Hulu. I think, uh, let me see. Yeah, I believe that's it. And the one that, you know, you have to use a pair of binoculars to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Can't forget that one. Yeah. All right, well, it's that time. Time for your favorite game. Um, well, really quick, uh, let's talk about our corporate sponsor before we get into that. Uh, this uh, podcast, this, uh, ch- the YouTube channel, um, you, we'll say it's also sponsoring Spotify since this is we talk about it um, on it there too. Uh, w Energy. We're sponsored by them. I've been drinking their stuff. I really enjoy it. I. You know the beach and peach, fantastic. Um, I'm I'm keeping it a rule though, two tubs at a time before I order the new uh, mango flavor. But I'll definitely check it out. Um, and it's been very useful to me to save money. Uh, these you know I've been talking more and more about prices on our personal Discord, not so much the Go for and Tuck one. But if yeah, go on Go for and Tuck the. Go on their Discord and check out the jokes I throw at them. But anyway, uh, Dubby, it's been very useful to me. You know, these tubs, they come with 30 servings. It recommend They recommend you only drink up to two uh, servings a day. But if you just drink one like I usually do, it gives you a month worth of caffeine-flavored drink. I feel like uh, I enjoy drinking these more because I do mix them with water, so it goes... I, you know, it goes down e- easier than like traditional energy drinks. I think and I think they are better because it has protein and whatnot. And uh, if you uh, want to check these out, um, I, there's a you know there's an offer for you. You could go to www.w.gg and we're in the discount uh, area where you can put in a code. You can put in Gopher Tuck. Not go for and tuck. Go for go tuck. G O P A G O P A T R T U K. All one word. And uh, you can save ten percent. But there's an easier way to do this, isn't it, Gopher? There is. You can click a link that if you're listening to this on YouTube, you just go into the description. You look for the little fucking link there about uh, about the uh, about the about the thing. Or if you're watching on stream, like you're watching a stream on Twitch, you can put an exclamation mark sponsor or exclamation mark dubby, and the link will pop up there. Click that link, and it automatically applies the code. Hell yeah, and if you're on a Twitch, yeah, uh, sponsor exclamation mark, right? Exclamation mark sponsor or exclamation mark. I did it backwards. I did it backwards. I did it backwards. Damn, Sam. Damn, Sam. Yeah, check them out for a ten percent discount. Uh, 
I've yeah. been enjoying these drinks. You have? I've been drinking that all the time. Uh, the cups, the cups, those those things, like, I wouldn't take them to work if I was you guys. That's something, they look cool. It'd be something cool to have at home. But I wouldn't be, like, jogging with them, you know, might fly out of your hand and impact the ground and break into a million pieces like mine mm. did. Mm. And I I would feel especially sad if I got <clears throat> if I had this the limited edition anime girl version and I did that. Yeah. So now that we've uh now that we paid the bills, <laughs> it's time for Gopher's favorite game. It's not Dark Souls, it's Golden so- Soli's Championship Wrestling Trivia, the game of pro wrestling. Championship wrestling trivia. Four categories. I get two questions per category. All right. So, first from the history category of Lou does his five toughest matches. Name at least one of his opponents. Like, what do they mean by five toughest matches? Um, I'm not even sure what they mean, but uh, the you get. So this question says you get to name one of his opponents. Um, one of them is a former AWA world champion. One of them is a former AWA world tag team champion. Um, one trained Triple H, and I couldn't give you any hints on the other two guys. I don't know. Uh, tough, toughest man. Um, Vern Gagne. Yeah, so the all the the answers uh there's Killer Kowalski, Everett, Everett Marshall, Bobby Maggot Maggot Maganoff, hmm. uh, Ray Steele, or Vern Gagne. That was well, there you, you, go. you got it. There we go. For gangsta category. Oh, man. How is a participant eliminated in a battle royale? Uh so right. You know you know how they're eliminated? In a non battle royale, this would get the person doing it uh, disqualified. But what they do right is they throw the opponent over the top rope, and then that opponent, both their feet gotta touch the bottom floor or touch the floor. What? What? Yeah. Over the top rope? Yeah, see, that's, that should be a, that should be a disqualification. Rope? But instead, in battle royals, it gets that person eliminated. Well, this I, I don't know, but this card agrees with you. Yeah. So that's two right. Mm-hmm. All right, for 80s, who was Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine's most hated wrestler in 1980? 1980. Um, can I get a hint? Um, uh, he's a former director of authority in TNA. He was a commentator in WCW. Uh, former AAA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh. Larry Zabisco. Zabisco. Leaping Larry Zabisco. Larry Zabisco. Who did... We wanted to try and get him on the channel, but like he <laughs> replied late to a thing, and I and then I replied late to the, that thing. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Um, all right, so for TF... Uh, Quote-unquote true or false, category. apparently, even though half the time it is... What the fuck? I am trying to change. I am trying to clean up my language just so that maybe one day this I could get like I could show this to someone say, "Hey, look at this," and I could get a job in radio. But uh, this is radio. the fuck category. Yes, <laughs> radio. Um. So, question: A fireman's carry involves two wrestlers carrying another and their to their turnbuckle. True or in- false? It, wait, involves two wrestlers carrying another to the turnbuckle. Yeah, does it is that true or false? Uh, not as not to what I know of the fire, but I don't know if like if that's what it used to be considered. I don't know about two wrestlers. I, I'm gonna say false, but I don't. Know. Well, you said false, and you are correct. Okay, because as far as I know, it's just like lifting somebody onto their shoulders in the attitude yeah, adjustment a, way, a, and then yeah, yeah, that's a fireman's carry. Mm-hmm. What's the thing? All right. Like, what was it? Is, is there a term for the thing they were describing? No, they're just uh, being silly. Ah, being That's silly. Question. Hmm. All right, back to history. Oh man, when when did seven time 
champion Harley Race first win the NWA World Heavyweight title? Uh... Let's see. So he won it. It's asking for the year. He won it the year Live and Let Die came out. Um, Living Let Die? Live and Let Die, the James Bond movie with Roger Moore. Uh, um, when the fuck was that one? That, um, Roger Moore, one of the Roger Moore ones. <sighs> yeah. It's in the early 70s, I think. I'm trying to... Um, Seventy-two. One year off. Uh, Nineteen seventy-three. Fucking seventy-three. Damn. Damn you, James right, Bond. Uh, see. So this guy didn't get his WWE name yet, but <laughs> I'm looking at the answer. Which wrestler, while recovering from an injury, managed? Managed a sandwich shop in Arlington, Texas with Jack Victory. Oh, man. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, Very surprising. Very surprising question. Yeah. Wow. Uh, can I get a hint? Um, I'm, I'm going to actually, uh, like, um, I'm wondering if like I even got the right name. Uh, I think this guy was in WWE. Um, let me check because in the thing that on this uh thing they have is a re- maybe his real name. Hmm. So I'm gonna check if I do have the right person. Actually, no, I I. I'm wrong. Like I thought it was someone else. Uh, hmm. Who did you think it was? Yeah, he. Um, uh, I thought it was Earthquake, but no, they uh-huh. just have the same first name. Um, this guy wrestled in world class championship wrestling uh, a lot in the you know United States Wrestling Association. Okay. Um, it was a. Uh, Tag, he was a uh, tag team champs with Jack Victory, who also uh, ECW original Jack Victory. <laughs> Fucking that was a hell of a name right there, Jack Victory. Uh, that's your favorite wrestler, Rhino. I I do like Rhino. I, 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 I um who the fuck managed Rhino though. Oh no, that was Jack Victory. Uh, the other Uh-oh. guy, he wasn't in wrestling long, so Uh-oh. it's such a obscure. Oh, so I'm getting a question about somebody who was barely even in wrestling. Oof. Um. Okay. In that case, uh, uh, it, was, it wasn't. Uh, here's a hit. Here's a hit. It wasn't Kevin Federline. Okay, Drew Carey. Boom. Lock it in. Hollywood John Tatum. Mm, yeah, John is the earthquake name. John Tenta, I think, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Mm. All right, one wrong so far. Uh, no, two, two, two wrong. Something. Yeah, uh, I was you, one year you, off with that. You're make, no. you're, you're, go, you're gonna make the comeback here. Oh man! Back to the '80s. Who was the winner of Pro Wrestling Illustrated magazine's Inspirational Wrestler of the Year in 1982? Uh, 1982. Uh, can I yeah. get a hint? He starred in They Live. Oh, um, um, uh, Roddy Piper. Yeah, that guy. He was out there fucking uh, kicking ass and chewing bubble gum and then being out of bubble gum. Hell, yeah. Final question for from the fuck category. <laughs> in the NWA, striking below the belt in some instances per- is permitted. True or false? In some instance, see, I don't know about this. I don't know what in some instances, like, like, does that mean like in certain match types? Because if that's the case, that would um, be true. But I don't know if that's what they mean. Hmm. In see, some instances in the NWA, I, uh, I'm gonna assume that they mean in different match types and say true, but I don't know. Uh, that probably. 
I think the thinking here is like if there was no disqualification, it would be a non sanctioned match. And the answer they say here is false. Ah, uh, it tricked me. That's what it is. A little trickery on their behalf. Well, well, that's that's more than half, right? Yeah, you know. You know. There we go. You know, I haven't think been thinking about like some wild thing you had to do if you got something wrong, like with the movies. But, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you do you do have to die because of the gopher yeah, thing. So, of the I mean, gopher, the yes. bluffing gopher. Yeah. R.I.P. Me. You will all be getting Ryan Reynolds playing the role of Gopher next week. Uh, why'd you have to? Why'd you have to? Hello. Well, you know. Spoiler alert. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we'll be back uh, next Saturday morning. Thanks for listening, and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye. <laughs>